Welcome back to Adoptions from the Heart TV. I'm your host, Amanda Alberti. Oftentimes when we're having the conversation about open adoption, people fail to remember that that openness can extend to birth grandparents. Today we're going to be sitting down with Donna, who's going to talk about her adoption story and get into a little bit about her relationship with the birth grandparents of her children. Now let's tune in to Donna. Um, tell me a little bit about your experience of having a relationship with birth grandparents. Absolutely. Oftentimes they're kind of left out of the equation, so I'm curious what your personal experience have, has yeah. been. So I have three children, uh, built my family through adoption, and um, we're all open to adoption. What's interesting is our first adoption was identified, okay. which means that um, while we were in the process of going through doing our profile and everything, um, through a connection of somebody I work with, we got connected to my oldest child's birth parents outside. It wasn't a social worker identifying. Okay. You know, so um, that is important to my story because we met when uh, the birth mother was only four months pregnant, okay. and she was a teenager, and um, we wound up just seeing her. Uh, she invited me to um, the doctor's appointments and things. Mm -hmm. So we started becoming close during that time, which is unusual to have that amount of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, during that time, her mother was concerned because, you know, here's this woman, me, saying, oh, absolutely, we can stay in contact. And um, that seemed a little too good to be true. Mm -hmm. um, when the baby was born, when my oldest child was born, um, we uh, did keep in contact with letters and uh, I had given my information so she could call. What was interesting is the first call I received after my daughter was born, and I would say she was maybe two or three weeks old, wasn't from the birth mother. It was from um, the grandmother. Okay. And uh, her name is Rose. And she said, I just, I'm just having such a hard time. And I didn't know if I could just is it okay that I called? Mm -hmm. um, she was really hesitant. Um, didn't want to impede, uh, you know, on me, but um, I welcomed it. And I kept thinking, wow, if this were me, if I were the mother uh, of, a, of a child who just gave birth to a baby, and now they, they made an adoption plan, how would I feel? Right. And um, and and I knew that they cared not only the biological mother but also the grandmother. Um, they cared so much about the baby, so I welcomed it. We had a phone conversation that um, probably lasted an hour. And uh, I remember rocking Kara uh, in the, the rocking chair and chatting. And at one point she said, uh, well, I know Chelsea wants to use her first name, but I don't know what to be called. And I said, well, my mom is Mama and my mother-in-law is Nana. What do you want? And she hadn't thought about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's like, would I just be able to be grandma? <laughs> You're Grandma Rose. And that's what she's been. And my daughter's now 11 and a half. Okay. And, um, during that time, I got to, the relationship that I have with my daughter's birth mother has become close. Like we're we're um, we're family, mm -hmm. but we've gotten just as close with the grandmother to the point where when we have family gatherings, usually they go together. Wow. Yeah. So you've included her in your open adoption and she's just as important Absolutely. as birth family to, to your whole family. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, I have a lot of respect for you for being able to include that love for your children. Well, so, my you. feeling is anyone that uh, is going to be uh, good to my children, we can't have too many people that love you. To love you. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you for taking the time to share your story.